Welcome to today's pick a card. It is going to be a channeled message from your loved one, most likely romantic, but of course you can replace it with any other person, but I am going to read it more in a romantic way. We are going to do three piles, and this is the Power Animal Oracle cards. And then we will see what does your loved one want to tell you right now. <coughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. <laughs> So, what does your person want to tell you right now? Again, this is the Power Animal Oracle Cards deck. We're going to use charms as well, if I don't forget. This is the Romans Angels. And I would also like to remind you to please check out my other contents. I have so much fun doing those readings for you. And as usually I am available for personal readings. If you're interested, you will find my contact information below. If you want to win a free reading, I'm going to give away two once I hit 500 subscribers. The spirits of love. All you have to do is to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. Help me grow my channel. And also, if you do have a request, please let me know. I'm open to um, requests. I'm not doing low vibrational readings on what's their karma for hurting me or third party stuff. I don't really like to go into third party stuff because I believe what you focus on is what you manifest. Psychic Tarot. So I do sometimes in my readings mention a third party if I feel guided to. Oh, there were two. Okay. I kind of like. Maybe those are like an overall message. You deserve love and um, love yourself first. <laughs> they got messed up from the readings I did last night. Anyway, this is the Psychic Tarot. Yeah, if I do mention a third party, then it is because it's there. Because it's, I mean, the cards are obviously there. Meaning too many kings or queens Maybe. I never read the, the three of cups for example as a third party never ever ever if so it would be a third party that would help you maybe like a friend that is trying to help you connect because the three of cups is a very joyful card But again, I do believe we focus, we, money, we receive it, we focus on. So if you are in a third party situation, don't focus on being in a third party situation. Or you will manifest being in that situation and not getting out of it. Um, did I show the true love reading cards? And that is why I won't do readings on that topic ever. But I'm open for other suggestions. Look, we got the Divine Feminine. Maybe there are some Divine Feminines watching. Hello. This is my channel deck. I'm going to get some messages from this one too. And then we're going to use the Tarot deck. And there I'm going to use the entire deck. This did not work. I'm going to use the entire deck for all... Um, here too, I'm going to shuffle live for each pile, I just decided. And I'm going to use this deck as well, my favorite. It does contain nudity, so as usually, please click off if you're scared of art that has some body parts on it. <laughs> Over there. 
So. What does your person have to tell you? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, we got three piles. We've got one, a pink rose, porcelain rose. Two is like a aubergine purplish eggplant colored maybe like purple and then another pink one for number three so please choose one two and three and this is not working i need to put them over there i hope i won't forget because now they're behind me i probably won't forget doing charms <laughs> okay pile number one Let's see what you get. What do you get? What does your person want to tell you? Of course, you can book readings like this with me. My contact information is below. I love doing readings for you guys. And as usually, I would like to remind you if it does resonate. Please help me by liking, subscribing, sharing, leaving comments. Five of Wands, Three of Pentacles work, Ten of Pentacles, Wealth, Ten of Wands, Oppressing, Seven of Pentacles, Falling Apart, <laughs> and the Moon. Okay, then we will check these messages. What does your person want to tell you? These messages I like more like their highest selves, okay? These ten messages, that's what their highest self, maybe not um, their conscious mind, wants to tell you. You've got, please take care of yourself. I'm going to put this over here and then what do we have we've got the koala empathy speak less and listen more we've got romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring we've got playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirits to a fun to shine We've got show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. We've got moving on and emotional withdrawal, the six of swords and eight of pentacles. And self-respect. These channeled messages we've got, we, I am in a dark place right now. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. I cannot believe you even exist. Can I put it like this? Yeah. Please don't be impatient. I can feel a pressure. You are my muse. I am making plans for our future and please send me a sign. I need to know that you still care. Um, I do have a reading called Should I Send Them a Sign via social media? Please check it out. And you are my muse. Can you see that one? Oh yeah. Okay, channel messages from your person. Give me a second. <laughs> okay, my love, if I ever hurt you, I'm so incredible, incredibly sorry. I am sorry for not speaking up when I had the chance for maybe missing opportunities for not talking to you when you wanted me to talk to you and I do have these feelings for you they are real they are, they are real feelings and I do want to um, build something with you I am actually making plans for our future but right now I'm just not ready yet I'm not ready net yet because I am in a dark place right now and I put you a bit on a pedestal because I believe with you I can be happy sometimes I think about 
growing old with you, of being with you. And this connection, it's sometimes I love it and sometimes I really don't because my feelings for you right now are just, they're a burden and I'm trying to oppress them sometimes and I'm just scared. I'm scared that you won't wait for me, that you will be moving on, that you are falling out of love because I just can't get out of my... I, yeah, I just can't get out of my my fears right now. And sometimes it it feels like a punishment because I want to give you so, so much, but all those wounds from the past, they're still haunting me. And that is why I'm scared. I'm scared not because I don't like you. I'm scared because I do like you. I Because I do have this feeling. And sometimes maybe... If I ever implied that I just wanted to get physical with you, then I am sorry as well. I do want to be playful with you in all ways. And sometimes I just need to I need to take a break in order to heal my own wounds. And if I've sometimes not been kind to you, then again, I am sorry. But you need to know that. I am in this dark place right now where I am healing. I am actually working on myself and there is a new beginning that is growing and I want to come to you right. Right now I just cannot give to you what you want. I have to learn to respect myself more. I have to learn to respect you more. I have to make sure I get into this very grounded energy that I feel worthy for you and if you won't wait for me that would break my heart but if you would think it's best for you to go then go but you need to know that you are inspiring me to develop myself you are inspiring me to to move on to really put in the effort i want to I want to win those trials. I want to overcome any burdens that I do have. But please, love, please don't be impatient. If you put that kind of pressure on me, it will take even longer for me to get there. Please have empathy with me. Please don't think that I don't want to be with you because I really do. It is just I need to heal. I need to take a time out i need to leave the darkness behind i need to step into a light so please be kind towards me please don't push me and again please forgive me if i ever hurt you because i am making those plans for the future i do want this with you i want to grow old with you i want to move forwards i want to give you a real commitment it is right now i am not ready and i cannot give you what you want right now i will if you wait for me i will you see i am walking on my path and when i get there there is love i know that there is love waiting for me there are two hearts it's our hearts we both have love for one another but i do have to walk this bridge first i do have to go through some enlightenings first. I do need to leave all fears behind. So please don't be impatient. Don't try to wake me. Don't try to send me energy in order to get me being faster than I can. It's like a baby that needs to grow in, inside of the womb. You don't want to have that baby prematurely. And so I cannot come before I'm ready. Sometimes I do think like you left me behind. Sometimes I am afraid that I was too slow. I am afraid that you won't wait for me if you grow too impatient. So please, just send me a little sign. Show me that you still care. By sending me a sign, I don't mean please push me because I cannot take that pressure. I cannot take that pressure. If you pressure me, I'll just build walls around me. So please be gentle with me. Please be kind. Please have empathy. That's this situation is not easy for me either because I do want to give you what I can. I just need a little more time and I need you to be patient with me. So please be kind. Please have empathy.
please give me the time I need. I am putting in an effort. I really am. Even if you cannot see it, I really am putting in the effort because you are just, you are my light and I cannot believe that you, you even exist. You are worthy of everything. You're worthy of having the nicest castle. I want to build that castle for you. Maybe I'm not going to be able to build castles for you, but I still hope that what I have to offer, once I'm ready, that you will accept it. I hope you will accept my offer. Because I just cannot believe that somebody like you would like somebody like me. And my self-worth is not what maybe what you think it is. But... I am trying to get to you. I really am. And if I am with somebody else or if there has been somebody else, please know that I do regret it. I really, really do regret the mistakes that I made. I do regret that taking this beautiful thing we had and turning it into a desert if I did that, I am so, so sorry. Okay, that was your channel message. And your person truly is sorry. I feel sick in my stomach right now. Your person is very anxious. I get like this... This pressure in my chest. And this burning in my gut. It's like I want to throw up. <laughs> It's very heavy energy. It's very, very heavy energy. And the gut feeling, of course, it is connected to the solar plexus chakra. We do have self-respect here. This means the sun here is representing the solar plexus and your person. This is the card of work, the of pentacles. Your person is working on themselves. They are so scared that they missed an opportunity with you. They are scared of their own emotions so sometimes they are pushing their own emotions away they're trying to disconnect sometimes in order to gather themselves if there has something happened between the two of you they want them they want you to see their side as well because they want you to know that they didn't act like this in order to hurt you your person would never ever want to hurt you ever and just sometimes they are overwhelmed they are in a dark place i mean i can feel it in my gut it's my gut feeling it's it's really it's bad it burns in my gut i can physically feel that person's pain and despair right now but then you must never forget that we only attract what matches us. So if you attracted a person that is not emotionally available right now, that means that your energy is not in the receiving mode of receiving somebody who is emotionally available, probably because you still have your own problems with self-respect. Because once we are in our power, then we can only attract somebody who is mirroring that back to us. Somebody who is respecting us. Somebody who is treating us special if we think we are dead. And I'm not talking about in a narcissistic way, of course. I'm talking about self-respect, not um, becoming a narcissist or thinking everybody else is less, less than we are. That's not what I mean. Um, so if your person is withdrawing, if you are in a no-contact situation... Please don't go chasing your person because if you go chasing your person, you will push your person further away because if you go chasing your person, you are in lack mentality and then you can only attract lack and spirit will keep that person away from you. So it is important for you to see what do you have to move on from. It doesn't have to mean that person, that you have to be moving on from that person. What old fears and anxieties because again we do have please don't be impatient i can feel a pressure so maybe you wanting you're trying to push that person look it's like she's trying to get him to wake up because she's in fear herself and this carter moon often to me represents the unhealed root chakra because 
it is um, fears the unknown and once you ground yourself more you will find more more um, security within yourself and security in this connection and then your person who is making plans can come forward maybe your person is trying to send you signs so if they come forward in a gentle way not not offering you commitment yet but just trying to test the waters please have empathy towards them don't push them away like oh this is not enough because again your person can only mirror to you what you're sending out so you need to be in that self-love energy you need to be secure within yourself trusting in this connection in order to actually receive that if you don't trust in the connection Spirit has to mirror you. They cannot give you commitment if you don't trust. You have to find that security. Those ten of pentacles that own security within yourself first. So have patience with your person. Because again, they, it's not that they don't come because they're not interested. They have their own demons to fight. And demons, I don't mean literally, of course. I mean oppressed stuff. I feel like they have um, had people in their past that were not emotionally available. So they kind of shut down or built walls. However, when you have easy moments, they can feel that playful energy. They can feel that you are somebody who can get them out of their darkness. But again, not by pushing them, only by healing yourself because you are connected and once you clear your energy body that has an effect on your person that is how you help your person you then you don't help them by trying to send them energy because that often has two different layers one is like oh i want to help you because i love you and the layer beneath is like because i i am a patient and because i don't believe you can do it yourself and then you send that energy like you're not able to do it yourself also to your person and that of course will cause more stagnation because again if you do something even if you mean well but you do it because you are impatient because you think this person is unable to do it themselves you're manifesting that your person is not able to grow themselves your person only has to confirm to you what you think of them so it is very important that you check your own beliefs on that person and make sure that you clear all beliefs that are hindering you if you think that person is not able to come that person will not be able to come so it is important that you check what you are manifesting what energy you are sending out to the universe maybe you can use scripting or any other manifestation technique in order to put that person into a light where you think your person can come towards you because your spirit believes that this person can come towards you otherwise your spirit would have disconnected you from them and you wouldn't have any feelings and by any feelings i mean no bad feelings and no good feelings or maybe you would have feelings like oh yeah i like them but i don't love them anymore okay as long as you have feelings for that person means that you are connected to that person and that spirit wants you to be connected to that person in order to clear um, whatever needs to be cleared but again your person can only mirror what you're sending out so if you want your person to change you have to change your own energy first and then your person either would have to develop with you or spirit would see okay this person is not and then you would get another person but however since we only manifest what we believe it's actually not spirit doing that <laughs> it would be more your higher self because if you have this underlying belief i cannot be happy with that person because so much stuff happened then your higher self would um draw a new person in but if you clear your beliefs like i can be with this person and we can start new then of course this is what would hap happen then this would would be what you will get from spirit so it is very important for you to get into this playful energy within yourself. Move on from old stuff. Get into the self-respect mode. Leave your fears behind. And also forgive what has happened in the past. If your person has been with another person, for example, and you're still holding on grudges and you are still 
mad at your person for being with another person. You're constantly vibrating in the energy of another person and then you will tra attract another person in, meaning there will be another third party because you are in the frequency of third party. So don't be in that kind of frequency. Get over that. Heal it. By oh, getting over that, I don't mean oppress it. I mean heal it, face it. Ho'oponopono, for example, is a great method for healing. So, yeah, do your work. Because, again, your person can only mirror back to you what you're sending out. This person does have feelings for you, but they still have their own stuff that is not cleared yet. And since your person can only mirror you, clear your stuff. Okay, we will check your charms. If you want to have your own personal coaching, please contact me because even if you don't like this reading, it's, I get it, not the most tearful one. However, it's not set in stone. Nothing is ever set in stone. Once you change your frequency, you change the outcome. Nobody else can do it for you. Spirit can only assist you in doing your own transformation. Spirit cannot do it for you, okay? got a J if that has a meaning for you doesn't have to be what I like is that I have two skulls skulls are talking about transformation meaning that both of you are transforming um, it may take a little time because we have two clocks here and that means since again I have two that both of you are not ready yet however I don't believe in timing at all I really don't because timing is not um, dependent on a specific date, only on your frequency. So once you develop fast, then things will progress fast. But again, two clocks, both people need a little more time. We do have this skull here, and the white skull means that there is some kind of transition happening, some kind of ending in your life, and a new beginning. But with the white skull, it's going to be an easy... yeah easy right we do have the heart so there is love we do have a flower romantic feelings we do have this mirror i was talking about mirroring before so this is your confirmation we do have a seashell if that has any meanings for you maybe your person likes the ocean maybe you should go out in nature and relax more we do have the spoon the spoon means to take something in so i always see it as like learning something or consuming something more information for example We've got the octopus. That could imply that your person has, like there is somebody else, but again, the gra grass wasn't greener on the other side, so that person likes the other person not more than you, because the octopus, of course, has many tentacles and could have many people in their arms. <laughs> However, it also means multitasking. Then we have the fish. Fish is, uh, talks about money, of course, but also about having deep emotions, but also about having to dive deep in order to clear your stuff. So you are called to dive deep when it comes to do your healing work. So anyway, pile one, again, I'm no, not the most um, colorful one, but it's important to know what to do as well. It's important to know what can I do in order to get where I want to be, in order to heal. And that's why I'm doing this channel. I want to coach people I want of course I want to give you happy messages I want to give happy messages to everybody but uh, it is just as important to know that you can change things if you don't like what is right now stop focusing on what is and focus on what do you want to be and now I just drop my cards okay those cards they are still so slippery because they're new <laughs> Let's see what I dropped. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you what I saw on the floor. I saw two cards. I saw the tower, mainly tower moments, and the star. Meaning that, yes, maybe it is not easy. Maybe something has 
still has to grumble and fall away in order to heal. Tower moments are not fun at all, but they're important. Tower moments are spirits helping you, taking something away that was not good for you. And the star is the card that is talking about wish fulfillment. But again, spirit can only give you what you, um, what you send out, what signal you send out, what you vibrate. So you can have your wish fulfillment. So hope is not lost, okay? However, there needs to be more clearing. There needs to be more healing, okay? Pile number one. I hope you're well. I hope this, if it resonated, I hope you could take something out of it. And again, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you want to have a personal reading to see more about what can you do, and then please contact me, okay? Bye-bye, pile number one. Sorry, pile number two. I have a very dry voice right now, a dry throat. My voice sounds funny. I don't know why. I don't feel sick at all. But I do feel a bit tired today. Energies are... Yeah, don't have a high today. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. So let's go to number two. Number two, I hope you get a nice reading. Number one was a bit rough, but that's okay. Sometimes we need that because there is no future set in stone. And if the energies are not good right now, it just means Change the frequency. Do your work. Change it. That's all it means. There is no good or bad. There's just experiences and um, we can control them with our own frequency. Oh, I was hoping this would be a bit better. <laughs> well, we'll see. We don't have the Oracle cards. We've got the Five of Swords. Doom. <laughs> the Urn Hermits. Son of Swords, the Ace of Swords, Four of Swords, and Seven of Swords. Wow. All Swords except for the Hermit. I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to use these cards. But I was just saying, nothing is bad. We can only we can always change, right? I'm going to see what else we get. But I don't feel as bad as I did in pile. Yeah, my energy is slowly coming back. In pile number one, I I felt sick. I felt like having like a stone in my stomach. And my voice, my voice is clearing up a little. <laughs> Okay, there is more energy in this reading. I can already feel it. It's it's better than it's better. We'll see what the oracle, oracle cards have to say, okay? But this is lighter energy than the first one. I do feel a tickling on my bag right now. Yeah, there's something going on energetically. Like it's... I would say like in between the solar plexus and the heart chakra, like that back area it's like like somebody would like pet me or tickle me it's like a tingling feeling like energy i feel energy in my bag we will see what it means i don't know maybe your person has or you have some kind of solar plexus and heart chakra awakening it's weird that i don't feel it on my front i feel it on my back maybe your person is watching you and that is why I'm feeling it from the back because your person is not watching you from front. They're doing it secretly. There's something, yeah, from the back. <laughs> but it's it's good. It's a good feeling. It's not bad. It's, it's interesting. But it's not bad. Is there one more? No, okay. Your smile lights up my world. Okay. We put those aside. 
yeah, there's definitely something energy wise going on. I just got a bit um dizzy, which sometimes happens when there's some kind of awakening, you know, sometimes that can f show on the physical level as well. So I do feel energy flowing through me right now. We have beaver protectiveness, just go ahead and do it. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Express your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Um, we do have honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. We have material and spiritual prosperities. The six is harmony is the lovers. And um, reparenting yourself. With the channeled cards, we have I don't understand what this connection is. I am seeing signs and synchronicities. Please give me the room to breathe. I love you. I love how strong and gentle you are at the same time. And I love how beautiful you are. Can you give me a second? Uh, my back is still tingling. Okay. Well, this is definitely a lot lighter. I mean, there's bits stuff in here we have to talk about, honestly. But yeah. Okay. <clears throat> to start with, I'm going to give you your channel messages soon. To me, this looks like a higher level um, connection, soul connection. That is at the beginning of the journey. Or if you are doing this for a while, then you are about to begin a new cycle of clearing, healing. There needs to be some, some work needs to be done, okay? <clears throat> for both of you of course because you only always mirror the other person so it cannot be that you are done and your person is not if you would be done and your person is not that I mean if you would be done that means that a person has to catch up and that's nothing then then I would have clearer energy okay um, so if your person is not there yet or maybe some of you maybe some of you don't know your person yet I, that might be an issue too that we're talking about somebody from the future oh i'm sorry that could be that we are talking about somebody you haven't met yet if you pick this pile not of course not everybody okay but i feel some of you pick this pile and they haven't met that person yet and i'm going to tell you why of course and others of you already met your person but it feels like very much in the beginning or there still needs is a lot of work that needs to be done a lot of it i'm not going to sugarcoat it because i want you to grow okay and i cannot help you grow if i do see issues and i'm just like oh, everything's fine i mean you see the cards yourselves not everything is fine however everything always gives us the opportunity to grow and then attract what we want once we have healed what we need to heal and I'm going to channel your person's message now, but please remember, your person is mirroring you, so some of the things I'm going to say may apply to you too, okay? So give me a second. Oh, sweetie, if you only knew how beautiful I think you are, you're just gorgeous and amazing and I'm feeling so drawn towards you. I'm feeling really, really drawn towards you in, in a way. Not just physically. Maybe sometimes I do express it like it is more physical. But it's more than that. I do feel safe and secure with you at times. But then there's other times when everything is just coming to haunt me. Everything I try to escape for a while all of my past issues, my childhood issues even. And I have been trying to run away from it. And now 
it just all coming up and I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking and I'm thinking and I'm thinking and I'm trying to understand. I, I've never met anyone like you before. The things that you, that you make me feel I have never felt before. What is this? What is it? Why are you doing to me? <laughs> How can you feel like this for a person you, you hardly knew? And you just awaken me to things that are beautiful and painful at the same time. It is beautiful because when you meet somebody you feel connected to like this, you start fantasizing about, wow, I, I, I want to grow with that old with that person. I, I just want to run towards this person and tell them, oh, I love you, I love you, I love you, and shout at them, I love you, and growing alive. But then there's those still moments and all of those fears come in. I mean, you are so beautiful, you're glowing. That's how I see you. You're glowing. And when you're smiling, oh my God, your smile, your smile is, is it's like a sunshine. It's, you are my sunshine. And I feel I don't deserve you sometimes. I have been rejected in the past so many times. Even when I was a child, I felt like I was not good enough. I couldn't make other people happy the way I was supposed to. And so I built walls around myself and I tried to oppress feelings. And my past relationships, I got rejected. They tried to change me. And then you came. And you're so different. People in the past, I, I thought I could never be truthful with them. I was always trying to hide who I am. I was trying to put on masks because I was scared that if I showed my real self I would get rejected and when I did I got rejected. But I feel like you see behind those masks and it is scary for me and I don't know what is happening to me. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know what is it. But then I get all of these weird ideas about like you, you just feel so familiar. It's like I've known you all my life. Is there something like past lives maybe? It feels like I know you and I get all of these weird ideas and epiphanies and all of this oppressed stuff is coming up and I'm just constantly thinking about it. I'm just constantly in my head. I'm just trying to understand. I want to understand what are you doing to me? And if I withdraw, please don't feel rejected. That's the last thing I want you to feel is feeling rejected because I have been rejected so many times. And I'm so scared of being rejected. I don't want you to feel rejected. But sometimes I am running because I don't know how to handle it. Because I feel not worthy. And when I'm trying to forget you, I just can't. Because it's like everything reminds me of you. It's like weird things. I hear music that reminds me of you. I hear your name. I see your birthday, there's just weird stuff that, it's like you're always there, it's like you're haunting me sometimes, <laughs> and, <laughs> oh God, I just love you, and you're so amazing, you're strong, you have been through so much as well, I know that, I know that you have been through stuff, and you're still gentle, you're so loving, and when you look at me like this, you look at me like this, like just loving and you it's like you bring healing to me you bring balance to me but then I, I just need to take my time I need to understand 
What is this? Who are you? What are we? I'm trying to find my own truth. And I need to heal. Everything I have oppressed, I do need to heal. So please, if I withdraw, don't think I reject you. I just... I want to come in a way that I can feel happy about myself. I want to come healed. I will express my love to you because I do love you. I am going to just do it. I will. I will go ahead. I'll just do it. I will express my love. It just, you need to give me that time I need. Sometimes, because your energy is like all around me, I feel that I can't breathe. You need to give me the time I need. You need to give me the time to heal what needs to be healed. And then I will come. Because I want balance with you. I want love with you. You are my lover. I want to nurture you, but first I have to nurture myself. I want to be gentle with you I want to romance you I want to woo you I want to give you everything you need once I'm ready but right now I'm just making plans I'm just anxious and I'm overthinking what can I do and there is still some more that I need to understand about myself first about myself and then about us and then when I do understand I will come to you. I will come get you. In the meantime, please just take care of yourself. And I do meet you in the dreams. I do dream of you too. It's like you're always there. I just told you, you're always there. In my dreams, in real life, I hear your name. Now I just need to work on being worthy for you. Okay, my love. Just wait for me. I will come for you. I love you. Okay. So, I mean, we obviously see that there's a lot of swords here. It's like six cards and five sword cards and then the hermit, which is not a very... It's a very enlightened card. It's the Virgo card, but Virgo is ruled by Mercury. So, again, <laughs> it is having uh, ideas we do have i don't understand what this connection is so your person did feel connected to you i mean we do have the lovers there is love there's chemistry so you did awaken something in that person there may have been something like soul recognition from the very beginning and you do trigger emotions from that person that your person has never felt like in that way before and you are obviously here watching pick a cards so you probably know what a soulmate is what um, soul connections are but I think your person may not know they know that there is something that they haven't experienced before and maybe they are waking up to that idea that there may be something like soul connections or deeper connections because we don't we have I don't understand what this connection is then we have the Ace of Swords, which is getting epiphanies, but also, of course, wanting to find the truth. We have the Hermit, Hermit another card that wants to find the truth. And then the Son of Swords, you can see him sitting, thinking, pondering, wanting to understand. Then this card is healing, talking about taking your time and healing. And we have two cards where you see that somebody is kind of like running away from something. This card is called Doom. So your person probably has been hurt in the past. And it has not healed because they had oppressed it. And then this is the card of being rejected. So your person has been rejected in the past. And they're so scared because you are so special to them. You are. I mean, we do have this special connection. We have the lovers. We have I love you. We have chemistry, express your love, more love. There is love here. Science and synchronicity is another thing that is hinting about a higher soul connection. So there is love, maybe from the very beginning. I told you in the beginning that this might be a pile where you um, 
are just at the very beginning and your person instantly felt there is something and now they're trying to figure out what is this why can't i forget this person why can't i oppress my feelings and you triggered healing in them which is amazing and this is another aspect of a higher level soul connection for both they come into our lives and we come into their lives in order to trigger healing and so you are not in this union phase right now right now you are in the healing phase you are in the phase where are you where you're dealing with with everything that you have oppressed both of you old rejections um fears childhood um stuff so reparenting yourself do your inner um, work when it comes to your inner child okay you can google never got it revision to change memories to reprogram memories painful memories you've had and um also to balance yourself you have the six of pentacles here in material and spiritual prosperity meaning there is growth there is harmony getting in it's 66 maybe you want to google 666 six is the number of love and balance with the hermit there is a spiritual connection but both are still getting downloads both are still getting epiphanies awakenings with these as well and it's also important for you to not overthink you can think of your person but don't do it in like an overthinking way and it's also very important for you to learn how to manifest so you don't accidentally manifest what you don't want because spirit is always giving you where your focus lies and if you focus on your person not being there then that that is what you're manifesting your person not being there if you focus on separation oh my person yeah you you just manifest more separation so try to try to yeah shift your focus to love because there is love and once you do that your person if your person is the divine masculine because it's the energy of the divine feminine to get into the receptive energy and it's the job of the divine masculine to yeah express the love go ahead and do it and we have two cards right here go ahead go ahead so your person is going to take charge they are going to tell you that they love you they will maybe some of them already have told you and expressed their love however that is what is what can be painful of course you your soul connection sp tells you that they have feelings and then they withdraw and for the feminine it's like shit what's happening here that person i thought they loved me and now they disappeared that is so typical for those connections because again the um disappearing the withdrawing of the masculine is usually triggering all of the oppressed um fears of abandonment for the feminine and then the feminine has to clear that and once the feminine has cleared it then the masculine has to follow okay but the masculine has to oppress i always tell my clients like this imagine you meet a um, soul connection and then you connect and since we are genderless souls we all have feminine and masculine within us like the yin yang symbol the black part the feminine part yin part has the white dot in them right so you may have more feminine energy of course or masculine but you do have a part of the other energy energy as well and that needs to be balanced and just as an example i always say imagine you connect and you share the feminine and masculine energy like 50 50 and then the feminine usually because of their old fears of abandonment gets out of the center and into the distorted feminine energy and the distorted feminine energy is fear of abandonment um trying to hold on to the person impatience sometimes anger yeah every unhealthy emotional feeling 
negative emotional feeling and i always say like okay they, they were centered they met and then the feminine is falling into the distorted feminine energy like let's say 70 percent and since you only have 100 percent emotions together meaning that the person only has 30 percent emotions left and they have to they have to go into the masculine energy 70 percent because they have to mirror that and the distorted masculine energy is withdrawing overthinking um even though the feminine she can overthink as well <laughs> but oppressing their feelings trying to push everything away and then the feminine is in the impatient energy like where is he and going chasing after him and then if he's acting out of black mentality remember the masculine is pushing his feelings away and um, so he won't either he won't respond or he will respond in a way that will just push her away further and then there is more and more and more distance but once the divine feminine learns to get into her center she's drawing him in too and she does that by healing her old stuff her old um, distorted energy and then she will draw him in the center and he will dis heal his distorted energy. So she will draw him in. But as long as she's impatient, he is oppressing his feeling. As long as she's in fear, he is oppressing his feelings. Right? He's not coming, he's withdrawn. So it is basically the responsibility of the feminine to get into the center, to pull him into the center. Because the masculine energy, the one who's oppressing, is not the one who's clearing their stuff. It's the one who's in pain, who eventually notices, I, I can't live like this, I have to do something in, to get out of this pain. And then her process starts, she gets into the center, and then she pulls him in. Okay? So you both have to do your stuff. However, your person will express the love, because with the lover's card, there is true love here. And there is a high connection with the hermits. It is about, there is still some awakenings happening for you. Awakening is usually like a staircase. It's step by step by step. There's different awakenings. You know, it's ascension. Ascension is several steps. And so that needs to happen. So I can only advise you, do your work. Um, check out manifestation like Neville Guarded, for example. Meditate. The hermit can also talk about meditation. And that is the only way to draw your person in. If you are impatient, pushing them, you are repe repelling them, not drawing them in. Okay. Oh, this one fell out. Yeah, it does need a little more time. We do have the clock here. And uh, this clock to me means... I don't want to say divine timing, but even though we do have this one, that implies divine time. Look, it's like a clock as well. But it looks like there's like an angel. It's like this clock thing. It's like a nose for me. Do you see that? And there's like eyes and a nose. So it's like a clock and an angel. <laughs> But remember, divine timing has nothing to do with the date, only with energy, okay? Once you are in your center, you draw your masculine in. Well, at least they have to go through their stuff then. So it may take a while, but again, while has, doesn't mean long. Doesn't mean long, necessarily. Well, we have this, I don't know what's it, what it is, like a smirk. We do have this em emoji. We do have the owl would be another symbol of awakening because the owl can see in the dark you know so it is about learning stuff trying to find out more stuff there will be communication with this feather these feathers remind me of those old riding feathers we do have the lucky ladybug i just lost it this sewing machine to me means there needs to be work that needs to be done you need to work on your stuff you have the sun and the moon, so feminine and masculine energy. Success as well. We do have the fish. The fish is talking about emotions, but also about having to dive deep in order to clear stuff. Okay, so you need to dive into your unhealed stuff to heal it. 
We obviously have love. Remember what I was saying about the tingling um, feeling in my back? Your person is watching you in some kind of way. I do have pick a card readings. Adi, watching my social media. Please check it out. Spirit wants to help you to get your wishes come th th um, through, but um, through, I mean, but it can only help you once you do your work, okay? But this is kind of like a wish fulfillment. And then this to me is talking about grounding. You can ground this relationship after you have done your work, okay? So I hope this helps. Please let me know. Please like, subscribe, and share. And you can book your own reading. Or you can get a free reading once you um, subscribed and left a comment. Then you can enter the raffle. That was your pile number two. Please leave a comment. I'm always interested to see how this resonated with you. And also it would help me grow my channel because it does some, do something to the algorithm. And then more people are going to be able to find my channel. So that is why you're liking and subscribing and commenting does help me. And if I could help you with this reading, it would be nice if you help me as well. Anyway, I wish you all the best, of course. Please check out my other content as well. Number three, let's check out your reading. I'm going to draw six cards. And very important, if it resonated, please leave a comment and like and subscribe. Because, yeah, it does something to the algorithm and then more people are going to find me as well. That would help me grow my channel. And of course, I would get to help more people. That is what I want to do. I do want to coach you to um, ascend and also ascend into the relationship you want, of course. Oh, this is so much nicer than the previous piles for now. <laughs> we have the Son of Cups. We do have the Magician. We do have the Five of Pentacles. We do have the Two of Pentacles, Daughter of Cups and the Chariot. I'm going to check these ones. Okay. Also, please check out my other content. I have lots of pick a cards and zodiac readings. And of course, you can book a personal reading. My inf contact information is below. And you can win a free reading. I don't know if I've already said it in this pile. If so, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want to sound like a broken record. So is there anything else? Spirits, last shuffle. Okay. We've got, I want you passionately. Cut coyote, wise fool, accept your follies and find the teaching in them. Give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. Pay attention to the red flags, the sign are cautioning you. The heart of the matter, there's more going on than meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about. 22. We've got love begins, which is the ace of cups. Awareness, which is the magician. And resolving conflict. And I noticed one and one. Actually, we do have two magicians, so it's one, one, one. Um, you can check out one, one, one. And also, we do have, of course, 11, 22. Then we have, I want to take you on a date. I'm making plans for our future. Please send me a sign. I need to know that you still care. I do have a reading call. Should I send them a sign via social media or also should I reach out? You are my goddess. 
I can feel that you are mad at me and this is why I won't come forward. Every time I think of you, I smile. Oh, I'm really hungry now. My belly is starting to grumble. How do you call it? It's like... <laughs> okay. This is overall a pretty nice energy. Two magicians, which is amazing, means that both of you are manifesting the other person. But you know when you are manifesting, you have manifesting powers. Everybody does. It's just like some do it more conscious than others. Be aware of what kind of energy you're sending out to the universe. Okay? It's very important. If you are mad at your person, your person cannot come forward, right? Spirit is keeping them away. However, let me just check. Give me a second. I feel a tingling in my legs. It's like a person wants to move forward. However, there are bits. Yeah, I get similar to pile one, but different. A weird feeling in my stomach, not just because I'm hungry. I think you're person is a bit like anxious or like you know the um sacral chakra would also not sacral sorry the solar plexus chakra would also be the anger one when it's not healed it's where anger sits in the solar plexus so maybe there is some anger here for some of you maybe there has been a fight with resolving conflict and um, mad and red flags. However, I don't get it too much as red flags. I mean, it says the signs are cautioning you. I feel it more like you are getting signs and synchronicities. There may be some red flags, but that is nothing that cannot be resolved because we do have resolving conflict okay but, um, when i mean resolve of course manifesting it's the ace of cups there's love here and also i see we have son and daughter of cups okay give me a second give me a second <laughs> honey <laughs> Honey, you're my honey. Do you know that? I do have feelings for you. I really do. I do love you. And I kind of want to move towards you. I just don't know right now if you want me to. Because, yeah, the conflict we've had, the fight we've had. I, I yeah, I know that I may have made a mistake. And if so, I am sorry. And I do want to apologize. I do want to apologize, but I am so scared that if I get towards you, move towards you now, that you will reject me. So if you want me to come forward, because I really, really do, I do want to move towards you. Could you please send me a sign that you don't, that you won't rip my head off, please? <laughs> Maybe you could, I don't know, post something on Facebook, a song, our song or something. Just a little sign that I know that you have forgiven. <coughs> My throat check <coughs> is clearing. It's <coughs> Your person wants to talk to you. Um, yeah, please, please, please understand that the way I acted was not because I don't love you. It was just some old feelings I hadn't resolved some old patterns and because I was a bit overwhelmed with my emotions for you and when I do feel overwhelmed sometimes I shut down a little however I want to apologize I truly do so please just let me know in some way if it's energetically that you won't be mad at me if it's very important that you forgive me because I can feel it once you have forgiven 
I can feel it energetically, and then I can step forward. Because I want this new beginning with you. I do want a new beginning. I do want to have a relationship. I do want you to give me a chance. And the reflex from the past, I want you to know that I have changed. And I am currently, I am changing. I am changing. And I know I made mistakes and I want to start new because you are amazing. When I think of you, I have to smile and I just put you on a pedestal. You are a goddess to me and I I am making plans for our future. I'm trying to manifest you. I'm trying to manifest that you are not mad at me. Sometimes I hi am hiding from my emotions. But that is just sometimes... Most of me just wants to finally move towards you, have this new beginning because I love you, I love you so much. And I hope that you do know that if I hurt you, I didn't mean to hurt you. I've had reasons to do it, but those reasons, they have nothing to do with you. It's something from the past, it may have been childhood stuff. So if I'm acting sometimes in a way, please know what this is all about. It's not about me not loving you. It's about me being overwhelmed. I am overwhelmed with my emotions. And I am aware that this is special, that we are connected. And sometimes it even feels like I'm picking up on your thoughts and your emotions. But I am getting ready because I I want to be with you. I just want to be with you. I don't want us to fight. I want to be with you. I want you to give me a chance because I want to give us a chance. I am changing. I am. I have changed. And I am still in the process of changing. So as soon as I feel that you are ready to forgive, to actually sit down and talk, then I will come. I will come. I really will. I may want to start it slowly. Okay, I may not come with, okay, I want to marry you right now. Let's go on a date first. Let's go on a date. Just, just start new and then build up from there. That is what I would like. Please give me a chance. I know that this is something that can last for forever. Please accept my apology when it comes. Please don't hide your feelings from me. Please be open with me as well. We both need to be open. No games. No pretending. We don't have feelings that we really do have. No negative feelings. I am healing, I am healing my heart. So please have empathy and compassion and understanding for me. Because again, I, I never meant to hurt you. It is just some old old patterns that I'm clearing right now. But I I know, I know I found teachings in my mistakes. I hope you did too. So please welcome me with open arms, my honey girl. Or honey boy. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye, my love. <sighs> okay, so what I noticed, again, we do have one, one, one. One is the number of new beginnings. So your person wants to have a new beginning and leave behind whatever needs to be left behind. This card is talking about being overwhelmed. It's torture. And also it is, yeah, like feeling incapable, incapable to do something. And it's being overburdened by your own emotions as well. But your person knows that they have um, done something wrong, if they have done something wrong, because again, we do have finding teachings. We do have resolving conflict. Heart of the matter means, of, of course, that there is some deeper meaning. And that is, of course, mirroring. Your person can only mirror back to you what you send out. So if your person acted in a way that you felt dis disrespected, that may be because you're not in your own self-worth as well. So please try to find out 
What is the heart of the matter? What did your person mirror to you? If your person withdrew, for example, or was not emotionally available, then that can only be because you have some unresolved abandonment issues. But once you have worked through that, then your person can mirror commitment to you. We do have a lot of new energy. Again, we have one, 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 one is new. We have, I want to take you on a date. So your person will come as the son of cups. That is, can be an apology. It can be sending a sign. Maybe your person is trying to send you signs via social media. I have a reading on that. Please check it out. And maybe you can send them a sign by just liking what they send out for you. Because I think your person just needs to know that the door is still open and that you don't uh, that you won't be mad at them because again your person I think if you are still mad at your person your person is picking up on that and they, they cannot come forward for two reasons first of all if you send them energy that you're mad I wouldn't come forward to that why would I do that to myself and then the other energy is of course if you are mad and you're projecting this kind of energy your person has to mirror that back to you, of course, in a way, m meaning either making more mad by not coming, and being angry is lack mentality or is a h lower vibration energy, and we can only attract our person by getting into the higher vibration, I mean the low vibration, and with this card there may be telepathy between the two of you, I, I mean your person is picking up on your energy, so make sure you send out the energy of what you want to attract. We have two magicians. Again, both are trying to manifest this connection. If you did not read about manifesting, please do so. So you don't manifest on autopilot. You don't manifest more red flags. But you do manifest um, the resolving conflicts, the coming in of your person. That Because that is what you want, right? Maybe some of you are still hiding from their emotions as well. Because she's hiding from the moonlight. The moon can talk about emotions, but also about our higher self. About, um, what is the word? Um, intuition. So you can trust your intuition with this. Because your person, again, wants to come forward. And they want to come forward pretty soon, actually. As soon as you clear those energies. And you, this card in German, it means change. The person wants to change. And then we have more moonlight here getting epiphany so i think that there is a telepathic connection you please check out my reading is there a telepathic connection between us um for some of you maybe it's not telepathic but more emotional that you don't pick up on the other person's thoughts but more on their feelings of course that can be with the ace of cups um i got honey i said honey because i felt like some like honey pouring down maybe a person wants to pour honey on you <laughs> But they are over pouring with their emotions. Again, they want to give this a chance. And they hope that you give them a chance as well. This was the easiest and most forward pile. The only thing that is holding you back right now is maybe grudges. Stupid thing. Grudges. <laughs> If you know that you are repelling your person by being mad at them, stop being mad at them. <laughs> Try to see them the way you want them to see, to you you want um, them to be. And if you have made mistakes, accept your follies as well. I mean, those kind of uh, relationships they are supposed to teach both parties, not just them, both of us. So maybe again. Do send them a sign, check out that reading, whether you should. Sending them a sign could be like liking something, for example. could be something tiny, just so that they know that they can come in. But uh, don't do it if you still hold grudges. Clear that first. Whatever energy you have that's negative towards them, impatience, being mad, being disappointed, whatever energy it is, clear that first and ask yourself, why did I attract that emotion what does he or she want to or their soul or my own higher self want to teach me with that and then red um, flags don't have to have any meanings maybe you are getting signs from spirit as well we see those two heart chakras connected so as i said earlier maybe some of you don't have a telepathic connection but an 
energetic connection heal your heart or your heart i don't know which one you are <laughs> and it will affect your person too if there's a connection between the two of you and we do have the candle of love burning here so please again have understanding for your person okay let's go to the charms this one again was the shortest reading but it was most forward straightforward we got most charms too This saying, a um, graceful life never ends. Look, we got love. We got the loving one. And what do we have here? Oh, 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 oh. Yep, um, there may have been a fight. <laughs> there may have been other people involved with the snake. Maybe that is what the red flag was. That other people, other people doesn't have to be romantic. Could be romantic, but maybe like family members or other people just being involved. Because it seems to me that there is people who don't like this connection. Jealous people, maybe because I do have two of the evil eyes. It's not bad. Just um, don't focus on that because again, we manifest what we focus on. So if you think that there are jealous people or that there are people against this connection. Don't give that more energy by focusing on that. Just discard it. Discard it. Don't think about it. Okay, don't do that to yourself. Forgive them. Because if you forgive them, you clear the energy. And again, you can manifest those people not playing another role. Um, we do have hashtag keeps the secret. So maybe you do both have love, but you have never spoken you have never expressed your feelings that could be that there are secrets between the two of you also don't talk about other people to other people about this relationship maybe you have friends that are talking bad about your person stop talking to them because again you manifest where you put your energy and if you're putting you and yourself in a situation where people are always telling you oh just forget that person not good energy just don't do that to yourself okay um don't try to scatter your your um emotions too much focus on the connection with your person and don't let other people's energy interfere okay again we do have do have two skulls i love it when two come out meaning that two people are healing and transforming and that is something that is happening in higher soul connections it changes both people so if you are, we are wondering if your person is changing as well healing as well they are okay it's important to get into a peaceful energy. I mean, we did have fighting, you know, so it's important to clear your own heart chakra and to make sure that you are getting into a peaceful energy. We do have a butterfly talking about um, two butterflies. So we have two people healing and two people transforming. There is a lot of mirroring because we do have two unicorns as well. And miracle, unicorns to me talk about something that seems to be impossible, but it is possible because it's there. Look, there's a unicorn. So don't worry about other people thinking this is not possible. And don't listen to your own monkey mind sometimes thinking it's not possible. Because if you send out that frequency, it's not possible. Then guess what you are manifesting? That it won't happen. That's not what you want, right? Also... Both people see the other person as a unicorn. Like, oh, I never thought I'd ever met anyone like you before. What are you doing to me? <laughs> we do have the letter H if it matters. With the seashell, maybe one of you lives near the ocean, likes oceans. Or maybe also um, you can manifest with water. Check out manifesting with water. That might be something that you should uh, consider. And I was going to say something else about water. Um, seashell. Yeah, um, you can clear yourself with water. You, for example, when you take a bath or a shower. If you have a bathtub, you can take a salt bath. If you have a shower, just imagine um, green clearing light coming. Or white light, golden light. Just clearing away everything negative. There is divine timing involved. 
but again divine timing look it's like this little angel that's a clock at the same time at least that's how i see it <laughs> looks like a clock um, with the nose divine timing is not set in stone it's not a specific date it's a frequency and energy so you can change your energy but don't be impatient with this um don't be impatient okay once you clear your frequency you um attract stuff then we do have the horse horse to me is talking about freedom don't overthink get more in a cheerful mood maybe dance do something that is raising your frequency maybe there's a distance between the two of you and um then your person or you may come towards your person either way and then we do have eternal hope so spirit says don't give up hope that was your pile number three that is your channel message from your person if it resonated um and if it helped you in any way please help me by liking subscribing and sharing and i wish you all the best okay bye bye